maybe on being able to make your impact show in these few weeks that you've been able to play, just uh, what's it been like being out there and uh, making those big catches when needed? Um, it feels great. Um, being out, they don't feel too good. So coming back, being comfortable, being more confident to play for the team uh, feels great making plays. I uh, think that that can continue to happen. I just try to make every opportunity the most of it. Vaughn, what's kind of the mood of the team right now? Three straight losses, haven't been in this uh, hole for a little bit. Just kind of what is it right now? Uh, I'd say that we're all a little down, but uh, we're all hungry to get back uh, for a win. Uh, we all want to get better and um, improve on the mistakes that we made last week. You're kind of the leader on that defense. You, you had a good game yourself. Just what was kind of things going on around you um, that let the let them go off or as well as they did? Uh, I think it was a lot of communication errors, and uh, just like Coach said, uh, tackling was an issue. Uh, but luckily, those are all things that we can be fixed. So we're going to really focus on that this week and make sure it doesn't happen next week. A veteran unit, I mean, you got a lot of guys that have been through this before. Uh, do you have to look very far to get everything turned around, or is it just amongst yourselves? Uh, it's really just amongst ourselves. Uh, like you said, we got a lot of guys that have played in the past. Uh, so we just got to you know, get back to playing bear football the way we know how. How hard is it to look one game at a time? Because for us, we're always looking, mm -hmm. we're looking at the big picture. The playoffs are, um, can't really afford too many mistakes at this point. Um, just how, how are you guys able to keep it inside? Just be like, okay, we just need to focus on this week. Uh, you know, we just want to go 1-0 and every week. Uh, the most important play is the next play. And we just got to remember that whenever, you know, we're out there playing. So. Maybe on what was it like at halftime? Coach kind of touched on that where uh, people were a little down and uh, just wasn't the wasn't the mood that he thought should be going into that second half the other day. Um, like he said, I think it was more like on the defensive side. It wasn't more, you know, how they use would be offense. We was pretty fired up. We felt like we can go out there and put more points on the board, like we did the first half. We felt like we went out there and started fast. I think that's the fastest we started since you know the year been going on. So. Yeah, I think it was kind of like more on the defensive side, but the offense was pretty up. Vaughn, how did you notice that? Uh, I agree. Um, you know, in the first half, offense came out. Uh, defense, I mean, we played decent. And <clears throat> in the second half, uh, we came out a little flat. And, you know, that overall costs us, costed us. But, uh, yeah. How do you make sure, I mean, you, you have a rough half, but you go into a break, and mm -hmm. I'm sure you want to pick each other up and be a leader. Just how do you make sure that doesn't happen again? Uh, it was definitely hard um, letting them score right before half, so that kind of dampened the mood a little bit going in the locker room. But um, in the future, we just got to stay up, pick each other up, and go get the next one. Vaughn, you guys lose three straight, and how do you kind of flush that and just kind of move on from that this week? Learn this week, but also mm -hmm. know that you guys – got more games to play and more possible wins. Uh, just like Coach said, it's going to be a tough day in the meetings today, but got to watch the film, see where we went wrong, and uh, get the communication errors, and then this week in practice, uh, work on tackling, and then we'll be just fine. Except it's a tough meeting. What's he mean? Uh, you know, it's always hard to, you know, look yourself in the mirror and see where you went wrong, um, but it's something that we all got to do in order to get better. Maybe I looked at the stat monitor at one point in time at the Alaris Center, and Jason Shelley had hit nine or at that point maybe even ten different receivers in the course of that game. What's the attitude like in the wide receiver room? What's the relationship that you have with the other guys? Because there are just so many weapons, and you know everybody can only get the ball one play at a time. So what's that like? Uh, we have a great relationship. Receiver have a great relationship. Uh, we all try to keep each other up, keep each other going, because of course we all make plays, we all playmakers, so we all want the ball. But also when we don't get the ball, we just try to do what we can to help the team win when we're not getting the ball. But other than that, we have a pretty good relationship in that room. Vaughn, what do you make of the team's discipline? Because uh, there's a fourth and one where you guys jump off sides on that last drive of the second of the first half. Uh, there's a 15-yard penalty later. Throughout the season, there's just been some moments mm -hmm. where you guys are hurting yourselves when you don't have to. Uh, just what do you make of that? How do you guys improve? Uh, that's not who we want to be. Uh, you know, it's just simple mental mistakes that can be fixed. Um, it's going back to you just got to look yourself in the mirror and uh, figure out how to not make those mistakes in the future.
you look at Southern Illinois, just from defensively, it seems like they're efficient right now. They run the ball well. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of what are you seeing from that team? Have you seen much on them yet? Uh, I mean, I've seen what they've done the past couple of weeks. Um, I think they're a good football team, just like every other team in this conference. So it's going to be a good game.